सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन ऑल टॉपिक्स ऑफ थीडियोजिनोलॉजी एंड इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू इट and i extend my sincere thanks to all those who have subscribed to my channel friends i am professor g n purohit the head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics college of veterinary and animal sciences bikaner rajasthan india and in today's <coughs> lecture we discuss something about the endocrinology of male reproduction and in the topic 1 we discuss about the fetal development of testes and associated structures in the topic 2 endocrine regulation of the testes function topic 3 hormonal regulation of spermatogenesis and topic 4 testosterone biosynthesis and function friends first we discuss about the fetal development of the male genitals a brief about it the <coughs> primordial germ cells during the fetal development they migrate to the genital ridge and then form the gonads the primordial germ cells then differentiate into spermatogonia and this constitutes what we uh, call as the primitive testes now the development of the medullary cords occurs earlier in males as compared to females you see these are the uh <clears throat> parts wherein from the female duct develop the mullerian ducts and this is the wolfian duct where, where from the male organs develop now uh, within the fetal testes the sertoli cells they produce the anti mullerian hormone which uh, causes the degeneration of the mullerian ducts and uh, the leydig cells they start producing testosterone and insulin like growth factor 3 the testosterone it uh, helps in development of the wolfian ducts which uh, leads to growth of the epididymis vas deferens and the seminal vesicles where and also it helps in the uh, conversion of the urogenital swellings into development of scrotum in the penis the insulin like factor 3 it affects the gubernaculum and helps in the testicular descent the testosterone also affects the uh, urogenital sinus and where from the prostate and the bulbourethral glands they develop then the testicular development in male animals it is known to occur in three stages the infantile stage the prepubertal and the pubertal or the adult stage the infantile stage uh, occurs from birth to 2 months in boss taurus uh, type of uh, males and the testicular cells are small and mesenchymal type because of the low gnrh at this time due to hypothalamic maturation the gnrh increases and th there occurs the prepubertal period that from 2 to 6 months with increased or high nutrition there is temporary rise in gnrh this causes increased luteinizing hormone which increases the testosterone and the testosterone increases the diameter of the seminiferous tubules and appearance helps in appearance of sertoli and the leydig cells during puberty or the pubertal period which is considered to be 6 to 12 months in boss taurus type of uh, males the because of the effect of IGF-1 and leptins there is rapid testicular growth this leads to increased testosterone and this leads to initiation of spermatogenesis and sperm appearance the there is increased leydig cell volume at around 24 months which is also considered the uh, adult period for the bulls then as far as the penile development in the bulls is concerned at birth the bull penis is short and slender and lacks a sigmoid flexure and at its apex is fused to the inner lining of the prepuce but because of you can see here and then because of increased testosterone at puberty 
the penile and pupusial tissues separate the penis elongates and a sigmoid flexor it develops the tissue separation proceeds regularly and in many bulls is completed only after the onset of erectile activity and then the adult bull starts producing the requisite amount of uh, sperm in the uh, ejaculate now the uh, male reproduction is entirely under uh, hormonal control and hormones they are controlled by a wide variety of environmental nutritional photoperiodic and other cues the mm, gnrh is the uh, main hormone which causes the uh, anterior pituitary to release fsh and lh the fsh affects the sertoli cells and the lh affects the leydig cells to produce the testosterone in adult bulls lh secretion occurs in pulses around 30 minutes of secretion the lh pulses in a bull seem to occur randomly 3 to 8 times a day increased synthesis and secretion of testosterone occur within 30 minute of the lh pulses the pulsatile discharge of fsh is much less evident due to slower clearance of this hormone lh and fs secretion fsh secretion is controlled by testosterone is to estradiol ratio and inhibin secreted by the sertoli cells the gnrh causes the release of fsh and lh and then the sertoli cells the secrete inhibin and the sertoli cells also help in uh, the spermatogenesis from the spermatogonia the leydig cells produce testosterone and then there is a negative feedback uh, which controls the secretion of the hormones again in this picture you can see here the uh, mechanism of action of the hormones the fsh has uh, got a stimulatory action uh, on the sertoli cells and facilitate spermatogenesis similarly lh has a positive effect on the leydig cells to produce testosterone and high levels of testosterone and estrogen ratio and the inhibin secreted by the sertoli cells they collectively regulate the secretion of the hormones and the spermatogenesis and secretion uh, and production of the uh, spermatozoa so in this chart you can see here the same things the testosterone uh, is bound to uh, the uh, sex hormone binding protein and is converted into dihydrotestosterone and uh, estradiol then the androgen binding protein secreted by the sertoli cells helps in the transport of the testosterone uh, to the epididymis where sperm maturation occurs the uh, again uh, this chart shows that many cues they regulate the secretion of the uh, gonadotrophins in the male uh, including the photoperiod which affects the secretion of the melatonin the leptins also affect gnrh then the thyroid which regulates the insulin and collectively these all have the regulatory effects on the secretion of gnrh and then the lh and the fsh then uh, the prolactin hormone it also regulates the secretory activity of the hormones in the male domestic animals then uh, there are also reports of secretion of polystatin activins estradiol and inhibins which regulate the secretion of follicle stimulating hormone now prostaglandin f2 alpha increases prolactin and lh secretion in the bull some reports say like that now spermatogenesis uh, occurs in the seminiferous tubules and sertoli cells uh, they provide the androgen binding protein which bind the androgen and provides the uh, actions of the seminiferous tubules and the epididymis as well the leydig cells they produce testosterone testosterone uh, you can see here 
uh, LH enters the Leydig cells, produces testosterone. Uh, then testosterone uh, is also secreted in the uh, blood, uh, enters the blood uh, for the uh, secondary sexual activities. And then uh, it transduces into the Sertoli cells and uh, the androgen binding protein binds it and carries it to the epididymis. The uh, FSH acts to the second messenger and it uh, produces the cell products which helps the uh, seminiferous tubules in the spermatogenesis. Now the spermatogenesis is under the control of these two hormones, uh, the FSH and LH and the uh, testosterone uh, produced by the Leydig cells uh, transfuse into the Sertoli cells and uh, it is also transported to the epididymis by the androgen binding protein and uh, the testosterone is also converted into dihydrotestosterone which is responsible for secondary sexual characters. Testosterone is also partially converted into estradiol. You can see here the in the Leydig cell the cholesterol it, uh, converts into progesterone and then testosterone. Testosterone uh, diffuses into the Sertoli cell and by the enzyme aromatase it is converted into estradiol. It is also converted into uh, dihydrotestosterone and they may enter the circulation. So this is again uh, the picture showing the uh, effects of uh, the gonadal trophins on the estradiol inhibin, uh, how they collectively regulate the uh, secretion of the hormones and the spermatogenesis. Now FSH acts on the seminiferous tubules of the testes and is responsible for spermatogenesis from the initial division of the spermatogonia through the formation of secondary spermatocytes. Thereafter, testosterone is responsible for sperm cell development. The luteinizing hormone stimulates the growth and development of interstitial cells or the Leydig cells in between the seminiferous tubules of the testes and the secretion of the testosterone and androgens from these cells. So FSH binds to the receptors of the Sertoli cells and uh, the LH it uh, acts on the Leydig cells to produce the testosterone. The testosterone diffuses into the Sertoli cells and it is converted to estrogen by the enzyme aromatase. It is also converted to dihydrotestosterone by the action of an enzyme 5-alpha reductase. The androgen binding protein it carries the uh, androgens to the epididymis where it is necessary for maturation of the spermatozoa. High levels of testosterone, estrogen or progesterone min are maintained by, continuous, uh, maintained by continuous injections, feeding or steroid producing tumors of the testes and adrenal gland cause atrophy of the seminiferous epithelium and the interstitial cell. This process can be reversed by withdrawal of the exogenous source of steroids resulting in testicular rebound phenomenon. So exogenous administration of high doses of testosterone, estrogen or progesterone are contraindicated for breeding bulls. High levels of estrogen found in stallion urine are mainly due to estrogen produced by interstitial cells and or Sertoli cells of the testes. Sertoli cell tumor of the canine testes is common and they produce high levels of estrogen which cause feminization and testicular atrophy in males. The inhibin secreted into the bloodstream has a negative feedback effect on FSH but not on LH secretion. Now the androgen binding protein as we have talked earlier is produced by Sertoli cells under the influence of FSH and forms a complex with androgen. It is carried along with spermatozoa into the epididymis. The epididymal cells of the epididymis require higher levels of androgen for normal function. The epididymal transport, sperm maturation and storage. Now we talk something about testosterone. Testosterone is a steroid hormone soluble in oil and alcohol but not in water. 
the functions of the testosterone, sexual differentiation of external male genitalia and descent of the testes into the scrotum, then keratinization of the prepucial epithelium, separation of glans panis from prepuce, growth of the panis and prepuce at puberty, then growth and maintenance of accessory sex glands, maintenance of sexual desire or libido, ability for normal erection in ejaculation, then the uh, appearance of secondary sexual characters like hair or horn growth, male attitudes, heavy voice, increased bone thickness, increased muscle tissue with different distribution of fat from female and maintenance of secretory and absorptive activities and structure of the uh, epididymis, the efferent ducts and ductus deferens. Then spermiogenesis, the development and maturation of spermatids uh, and the spermatozoa. This is how the testosterone is synthesized. Acetate is converted to cholesterol, cholesterol to pregnenolone, to progesterone, to endosterinidion, and then finally testosterone. Testosterone is the major androgen produced by the bull, dog, and human testes, whereas androstenedione is the major androgen from the stallion testes. Testosterone secreted from the Leydig cells is carried in a bloodstream by alpha globulin designated as steroid binding globulin. 99% of circulatory testosterone is in bound form and 1% as free testosterone which enters the circulation and enters the target cell. In the bull, testosterone is 16 times more potent than androstenedione. So let us recapitulate what we have learned today. The fetal testes develop early and the testosterone produce help in development of ducts, scrotum and penis. The testicular development in male animals occurs in three periods, infantile, prepubertal and pubertal periods. The testicular function in male animals is controlled by gonadotrophins, FSH and LH. The FSH acts on the Sertoli cells which helps in spermatogenesis up to the secondary spermatocytes. Thereafter, testosterone helps in sperm development. The LH hormone secret is secreted in pulses and acts on Leydig cells and helps in secretion of testosterone. The testosterone diffuses into Sertoli cells and is converted into dihydrotestosterone and estradiol. The testosterone estradiol ratio and the inhibin secreted by Sertoli cells regulates the secretion of FSH. The testosterone maintains the sex libido and is also responsible for development of secondary sexual characters. Testosterone is the major androgen in the bull, dog and humans, whereas in the stallion, the main androgen is androstenedione. So you can contact me, I am Professor G.N. Porohit at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn link and this is my YouTube channel link. So friends, kindly listen to the lecture completely, give your comments, give your suggestions, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Govind Narayan Purohit, if you like them. Thank you. Thank you very much.